Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Christina and I'm a licensed esthetician and lash artist. So today I wanted to do a video to talk about the Brazilian blowout process and just talk about the different steps in the process and what the experience was like. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below, and please subscribe to my channel. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I have been thinking about getting a Brazilian blowout for the last couple of years and they're super expensive so I was putting it off but I have naturally curly hair and it's really a struggle to deal with and if you have naturally curly hair then I'm sure that you understand the struggle and all the time and money it takes to straighten it. Um, so what I did was I bought a Groupon and the treatment was originally $275 and so I paid $105 so I was super excited about that. So I recommend Groupon also if you're wanting to try something and you don't want to pay full price, you're not sure if you'll like it or not, or you just, you just can't afford to pay the full price, I highly recommend you buy a Groupon. So that was what I decided to do for this treatment. So the treatment itself is approximately three hours. Um, it is a long time. Uh, she actually got it done in two and a half. But if you're someone who's used to spending a lot of time in the salon, maybe you do color, you have really long hair, or you're just used to going to the salon a lot for different treatments, it probably won't bother you to be there that long. If you're someone who is maybe at a salon for an hour whenever you go, it might feel like a long time. So just putting that out there, it, it does take a long time for the treatment. But if that's something that you're used to, it really shouldn't bother you. It didn't bother me because I'm used to spending a lot of time at the salon because I do color and get my hair straightened whenever I can. So um, that didn't really bother me. But the process, uh, what she did when she started out, she shampooed my hair first. And then she um, divided it up into really small sections. And she applied the, um, the product and she used the actual, there's an actual product line, Brazilian Blowout, and so those are the products that she used for the treatment. Um, so she used really small sections and she just kind of, you know, just painted it on with like a color brush and would just comb it through. And that process took, took a while. I mean, my hair's long and it's, it's kind of thick, so it took a little while for her to do that. Um, once she was finished with that, she blew my hair dry in sections with a round brush and was pulling it out with a round brush and um, that gets it kind of straight but it still has like a lot of frizz to it. Um, so then what she did was she used a flat iron to kind of I guess helps to bond the product to the hair and she did that in small sections as well so that first part of the process probably took an hour and a half for her to apply the product with the hair wet and then to do the blow dry and the flat ironing. That took a while. Um, but I mean that's pretty much the, the the treatment. So I mean that's you have to go through that part of the process. So once she was done with that my hair was all done. It looked just like it does now and she had to rinse it out make my hair wet again and so I was all ready to go and <laughs> she's like, okay, now I have to rinse your hair and we have to do the same thing all over again. So you basically do that process, the applying the product and the blow drying and flat ironing twice. So once she rinsed it all out, the second, I guess, half of the treatment didn't take as long because what she had to do at that point was just to blow dry my hair. And um, then she flat ironed it a little bit more again so I noticed um, after she rinsed that second part of the treatment when she was blow drying my hair, I noticed that my hair dried a lot quicker. I noticed that um, it really stayed pretty straight. Um, it wasn't stick straight like it is now, but it was pretty straight. Um, so she did use the flat iron again just to get it a little bit straighter, like kind of like, like it is now. Um, I actually had this treatment just done yesterday and this is all fresh on my mind so I wanted to go ahead and film so I didn't forget anything that she did. Um, but my hair feels really silky and smooth. It feels really healthy. I mean my hair is normally healthy anyway because I normally take really good care of my hair. Um, but I also recommend the treatment if you're someone that maybe your hair is damaged, maybe you've done relaxers or you just you know, have hair that's really damaged. 
I think that this treatment will also help to make your hair a lot more healthy. Um, and keratin treatments can help with that as well. Um, but I mainly just did the treatment because I just wanted my hair straight and I want to see, you know, how my hair does with the treatment. Um, it's supposed to last up to 12 weeks, so I'm really anxious to see how long that it's going to last. And I'll probably do a follow-up video just to let you guys know how long it lasted. And um, so that's what I'm really looking forward to and just seeing, like, if my hair is easier to manage, it's supposed to be a lot easier to manage now. It won't take me as long to blow dry it, to style it, to flat iron it. Um, I did touch it up today with the flat iron for a few minutes and I noticed I didn't have to do as many passes as I normally have to. So I'm just really hoping my hair will be a lot easier to manage with this treatment. And like I said, I highly recommend it if you know, you're know you someone that struggles with curly hair and it's really hard to manage, it's really frizzy. Um, your hair doesn't even have to be naturally curly. If you just have hair that's just like really frizzy, you're kind of full, it really helps to relax it a lot. Um, but I mean, like I said, it is a long process and it is an expensive treatment. So if you can get some kind of, of Groupon or some kind of deal, or maybe sometime, you know, salons or spas run promotional deals for the treatment, I would recommend trying it first at a discounted price just to see if you like it or not and if it works for you because the treatment averages about $250 to $275 depending on your geographic area. In the area where I live in the southeast, they're about $250 average, so that's a lot of money to spend. Uh, not that I don't think that it's worth it, but, you know, it's it's a lot of money to spend on a hair treatment, honestly. So, um, But yeah, so that was pretty much my experience. I'm really happy with how my hair turned out. Like I said, it feels really just silky and smooth and really healthy, and I just think it looks really shiny and just... It just looks so amazing, like I'm so glad that I did the treatment. And um, one thing I wanted to also mention is um, the treatment lasts longer if you care for your hair better after you've had it done. So as far as shampoo, you don't want to use shampoo with sulfates. You want to use shampoo uh, for color treated hair. Um, don't use any kind of like clarifying shampoos or shampoos that can strip your hair. Uh, she did use one of those in the beginning for this treatment because um, you have to get the hair stripped down really good so that the product applies to the hair the way that it's supposed to and the treatment works the way it's supposed to work. So, um, But if, if you do color, you should know that you know you probably use some kind of special shampoo or some kind of special products to help your color last longer. This is the same thing. So um, I'm just going to continue to use the shampoos that I already use. I use Tresemme for color treated hair. Um, so I would recommend using that kind of shampoo and something that's sulfate free. Just like a balancing daily kind of shampoo. But I wouldn't use something that's clarifying or that has sulfates because it'll strip the product from your hair and the treatment won't last as long as it's supposed to. So if you're going to spend that much money on a treatment that lasts 12 weeks you want to try and get it to last as long as possible so um, that's something else that I wanted to mention is uh, just be aware of the products that you use on your hair as far as shampoo and styling products because you want the treatment to last as long as possible so um, I think that I covered everything um, like I said it, it is a long process and it's expensive and you know it just depends what you want from it and what you want from your hair and you know how you want your hair to be and what's important to you and and those kind of things so you know for me um, it was important to not pay as much because I didn't know how it was going to work for me and I just wanted to try it out um, and I also you know really don't like my naturally curly hair it's just really hard to deal with so I wanted to do a treatment that I thought would help out with that so if you're someone who is struggling with the same things that I do, I highly recommend getting the treatment done. Um, so I think that was all that I was going to mention about the process. Um, thank you for watching my video and please um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel 
And like I mentioned earlier, I will probably do a follow-up video in around 12 weeks to let you guys know how the treatment lasted and how it worked for me. Um, so that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.